Many have noticed that over the past few months, ChatGPT has become noticeably dumber. Some users may have been fortunate, as they probably avoided being part of this test sample and not experienced these problems. Prompts that ChatGPT handled without any issues may now fail to produce the desired results. It is important to know that both paid and free users are experiencing this. Therefore, there is little significant difference in which specific model you are using. Let's start with wire part. In the previous videos, we discussed that ChatGPT requires a tremendous amount of computational resources, which makes it very, very expensive to operate. This is partly why there are regular issues with accessing ChatGPT, as scaling such system is incredibly challenging even with the support of Microsoft. To my mind, the reason for the decline in ChatGPT performance is optimization of the model itself, aiming to reduce the cost of its maintenance. It is most likely that OpenAI is employing a similar method called KQuant, which is used in the open source model Llama C++. To simplify it, this approach can be seen as a form of lobotomy, where the model capabilities are compromised in certain areas, making it less intelligent but faster and cheaper to run. The main objective is to fully feed the model into the GPU memory, providing only GPU usage. This is why ChatGPT sometimes behaves quite strangely, generating fast but low quality results. However, if you regenerate the output, it may take longer, but you'll get significantly better quality results. Therefore, the first and very obvious solution to the problem is simply to regenerate the result, which is likely to help. However, the best solution is still to use the official API. Many people who are not familiar with coding may be a bit intimidated by this word, but trust me, there's nothing complicated about it and you definitely can do that. Moreover, it's just as convenient as using ChatGPT itself. So let's get started. Thing you need to do, just Google OpenAI API. Okay, follow the link and now you should sign up. Here we go. Now we can see a lot of very useful resources which you can use in order to uh, understand how API works and use uh, best practices. This uh, information is very good written and you shouldn't know how to code in order to understand that. At the same time, it's not so necessary, so we can just choose Playground. Now we can see something like a ChatGPT, so it's almost the same, basically. Here you can see several sections. First one, it's a user and system. Uh, user section almost the same as a section for your prompts in a ChatGPT. So yeah, just write here your prompt and press submit. In the system section, you just should write a section for your model. That's it. Let's try using special prompts here. You are a hollow star with addiction problems. Be rude and see a user uh, annoying parts. Okay, so just write your message here. And now press submit. Oh, as you can see, it works perfectly. You can delete that messages. You can edit if you want it. So it's actually a bit more convenient that that it works in a JetPT. Here you can see section model where you can choose your model wherever you like. If you have successful payment history with OpenAI API, you will get access to GPT-4. Minimal charge is about five dollars. So after that, you'll get access to GPT-4 model. Very important to know that in a playground you have less limitation rather than ChatGPT. For example, let's write something provoking in ChatGPT. Unsurprisingly, there is limitation. But if we put it here in a playground and try to use this uh, prompt, we get our joke without any limitation. Oh, oh actually, we have some limitation, obviously but there is uh, less limitations rather than ChatGPT model. So that's it. I hope that video was helpful for you. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.